Yum, yum. Hello everyone, Steve White here for Pixel Fondue. So recently Marvel's Designer had a sale. It was about half off and I saw a lot of people picked it up before the sale ended. Um, and Marvel's Designer is great for making things like uh, clothes for characters, uh, making curtains, making pillows, bed sheets. Uh, but I thought we'd do something a little different today and make an asset Marvelous Designer. Uh, we're going to make just a bag of trash. I don't know if you've ever had to bag, model a bag of trash for, as like a background prop or, or something in a, in a game or, or, or a cinematic, but um, you know, it's, it's not easy to do uh, to make something that looks good, uh, you know, with, without a lot of effort. So um, in Marvel's Designer, it can be really simple. So let's, um, let's look at how we would do that. So in Moto here, um, what I have here is I just have a, a human reference here for scale. And then um, in another layer, I have uh, basically what are going to be the con contents of the trash. And all I've done here is basically just taken a cube, subdivided it, and then just sort of used, um, you know, a deformer on it to sort of pull it and push at it to, you know, make it a sort of a lumpy, lumpy mesh. And, um, you know, in this one, even I just add some random boxes and things like that just to give it a little more uh, visual interest maybe when the cloth wraps around that. So um, now the one thing that's important when um, when you're going to export like sort of an avatar or, or a reference mesh to to um, Marvelous to use in the simulation is that the scale is important. So if I go up to my system uh, preferences here in my FBX IO um, under the units, I've set that to export as millimeters, okay? And then that's what we'll import it as in Marvelous Designer uh, to make sure that the scale is correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, those, those me that mesh layer, and I'm export selected layer. I'm gonna use Autodesk FBX 2018 and hit okay. And then on my desktop, I'm just gonna save that as trash. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here to Marvelous Designer, and I'm gonna go to File, Import, and go FBX, and then I'm gonna choose that trash folder. And under the scale, I'm gonna make sure that I'm importing as millimeters, uh, so it's the same as Moto, and click OK. Okay, so now we have our objects uh, moved in here, and I'm gonna make sure that they're just above the, uh, the center line there. Okay, so that way the, uh, the sim has a little room to sort of uh, wrap underneath there. All right, so now we need to draw out our cloth. So I'm gonna come up here to the rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a box around that first shape. Okay, so something like that. All right, now I'm going to uh, come over here into my window here and I'm gonna pull it out in front of the mesh. Okay, and I need to turn off the wireframe because that's what's selected now. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color of that fabric to make sure that it's uh, lighter so we can see it here. Just change it to a white. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, in the pattern window, I'm just going to hit copy, control C and control V to paste that. And I'm going to paste that in here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and flip that around. Okay. So in Marvelous Designer, um, the cloth patterns have a front and a back side. So you can see that the, uh, the front here is lighter and then the back side has a darker color. I'm going to take that back side and I'm going to bring that around to the back of the, uh, the trash object. Okay, and so you can see that the darker sides are sort of facing inwards and that's what we want. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, select those two patterns in the pattern window. And again, I'm going to copy and paste those and I'm going to select that and put that in front of the other um, trash object there. Okay, and then I'll Pull that in front. All right, so now we have those set where we want them. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to our segment sewing tool, and we need to sew these patterns together. So we want to sew the sides and the bottoms together um, and leave the top open. Uh, when you're sewing in Marvel's Designer, you can see as I'm hovering over that edge, there's a little tick mark there. And um, if I come down here, that flips down to the bottom side. So you want to make sure that when you're sewing your patterns together, that those tick marks match on each one. Um, so there we go. So now we have our lines going straight across. You don't want those to be diagonal uh, because if they were, when you run the sim, it, the mesh would try to flip itself over trying to match up to the you know, matching side. Go ahead and just sew these all together there. 
Okay, so that one's done. Uh, that was a great feature that they added in version 8, where you can now uh, sew directly in the 3D, you know, 3D viewport and instead of the pattern window. Uh, before, we would have had to sew over here, um, which kind of, it gets hard to tell after a while which side needs to be sewn to what. So um, it's a lot more intuitive here in the 3D window. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these together. And I'm just clicking once on each side to, uh, to make those uh, connections. All right, so now that we have that, what I need to do now is, uh, before we run this sim, um, we need to draw the top of those bags closed um, so that those wrap over the top of our trash objects. So I'm going to come up here and go to my internal line tool. And what I'm going to do is, um, on the one on the right here, the one that's taller, I'm going to make that a little closer to the top. So say something around there, double click, and then click once here, and then double click. Okay, and you can see those uh, those lines appear in the 3D window there. Okay, and then I'm going to go do the same on this side. Now this side I'm going to make it a little lower because I want uh, that that trash object is, is uh, not quite as high, and I want the bag to draw close um, just above that mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and select about here, double click, click here, and then double click. All right, so now we have that together. Now I want to go ahead and choose my uh, Edit Pattern tool. And I'm going to select those four lines just by hitting uh, Shift and left mouse button on each of those. And then under the Property Editor, I'm going to come down here under Selected Line, and I'm going to choose uh, Elastic. So we're going to turn the Elastic function on. I'm going to increase that strength to draw that mesh together. And then I'm going to bring down the ratio. The ratio is going to control how tightly that's constricted. So I want that pretty low. I'm going to say um, even down to one, just to make sure that that mesh pretty much closes. So now that's all set. So now what we need to do is just come up here and hit the Sim button. And now those will draw in and wrap around those meshes there. OK, we'll give that a second to sort of resolve. OK, now the great thing about Marvel Designer is you can um, sort of tweak the mesh while it's simulating. So I'm going to go ahead on this one that has more slack up the top, and I want to pull that um, sort of slack and pull it over to one side. Maybe I'll just pull on that whole mesh, just uh, try to help that settle to one side. OK. That's good. And again, I'll just play with that a little bit. Okay, so now, um, so that looks pretty good, but I want to, um, I don't like the way these corners are coming out. And, um, you know, and so I want to sort of pull those together a little bit, maybe uh, push them up a little bit. So um, one tool you can do use for that is uh, you can come over to the Steam tool. And the Steam brush is going to basically either uh, really loosen the mesh there or it's going to uh, tighten it up. So if we come down here and set the, the brush down low to, say, a negative amount, um, and we can change the brush size here and the hardness of the brush. Uh, I want to set the hardness pretty low so it's a soft effect. And set my shrinkage to be low. And now... Um, I'm going to just brush on the corner there. And you can see as I'm doing that, the sim's still running, so it's going to be interactive here. I'm just going to start uh, painting those corners in. And you can see the, how that's kind of bunching up a little bit. That might be a little much, so let me undo that one. Okay. And we can also add a little more interest here. Let me see. Let me flip that around so I can see what's going on. Let's actually um, turn, turn it up uh, to a positive amount and brush on that. And now you can see that's sort of loosening up in places. So I'm just going to paint a little bit of uh, red on there and it's going to loosen that up. And that will just give a little more wrinkle, a little more uh, interest in there. What we can also do is if we come up here to our edit pattern tool, 
I'm going to select these bottom two lines and just add a little bit of elastic to the bottom there. Maybe that will um, give us something we want. So let me turn on elastic there. Okay, so that's okay. All right, and um, you can see that the mesh is sort of poking through here. We can come up here to our avatar uh, display here and just turn that off. Um, so now we're only seeing the bags of trash. And um, we can also do the same with the uh, the cloth object. Uh, we can see the, uh, the mesh density here. Um, if you want a little more or a little less detail, you can come over here. Let's say select these patterns. And I'm going to come up here to my particle distance. Um, right now it's set at a default of 20. If we lower that, that's going to make the mesh more dense. Okay, and uh, the other thing we can do is um, if you don't want uh, tries as export, we can come down here under the uh, miscellaneous and we can set the uh, mesh type to quads. And that'll take a second to, uh, to change over to a quad mesh pattern. All right, now this is um, sort of the old way of doing things. Um, um, this was uh, a way you could export quads before version 8, uh, but now we have this new uh, remesh beta. So if we uh, click on that, now we're going to get a very consistent grid of quad polygons. Oops, and I see I didn't have the one mesh selected, so let me, um, so I think I still have tries on one side. Yeah, so I, have, I need to select that one, and I need to also remesh that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me turn off wireframe for a second, and just so we can visualize a little some more, let's, let's choose our fabric material, and I'm going to come up here and change color to a darker gray, and then I'm going to uh, set the roughness down low so now we're actually starting to look like a trash bag there okay so now what we can do is we can export this so um, let me uh, make sure let's go into the fabric and for the uh, thickness we can set the uh, thickness of the mesh here and let's go ahead and do a file export and I'm going to choose FBX again and we're going to call this uh, trash bag. Let me turn off caps here. Trash bag uh, send, just so I know it's different from the other file I had. And we'll click OK. Okay, and now under the export FPX, um, I want to make sure that thick is set. So that will actually make a uh, interior surface for the bag. Um, everything else is okay. Uh, we want it to be a single object. Uh, we'll do unified texture and then I'll click okay. All right, so that's exported. So let's go back to Moto. I'm just gonna clear my scene and then I'm gonna open that file up. So we'll go to uh, Trash Bag Simmed, and I'll just click OK. And now we have our object here. Now it's going to bring in both the avatar and the and the uh, cloth object. So I'm going to turn that off and then select that. And now we have our trash bags back in Moto. Yum, yum!